Gentlemen, we talk a lot about style and grooming, but we also talk about personal presentation and your image, the message that you're sending everybody else. Well, today I thought we'd talk a bit about professional style. If you're working or you plan to be working in the near future, today's video is for you because I'm going over 10 style tips for the young professional to be taken more seriously. The climb up the corporate ladder is not an easy one, but there are some things that you can do to give yourself a style leg up over your competition. Tip number one, wear a watch. The simple act of wearing a watch, even if you don't know how to read it, is going to give you an advantage over those who aren't. The reason being is that wearing a watch signifies to other people that you're responsible, you're a go-getter, and you know what's up. Now, in terms of what style of watch, I would go with something a little bit more dressy and professional as opposed to something casual like a diver watch. Uh, for those of you who are looking for an affordable watch because you're on a budget and money is tight but you still want to look super sharp, the fifth is actually a company that sponsored the Alpha M project and I love these watches for the simplistic design and the clean aesthetic. If you want to check out the fifth, there's a link down below that's going to give them to you because you're friends of mine at a discounted price. Young professional style tip number two, invest in a pair of great brown loafers. The simple brown loafer, in my opinion, is one of the most versatile and appropriate professional footwear options that are out there. They work with suits, they work with slacks, they work with business casual wear. Bringing us to style tip number three, which is don't go sockless with your loafers in business wear. I know that on Instagram you see a ton of young stylish dudes rocking suits without socks. This is absolutely the worst thing you can possibly do if you want to be taken seriously. Young professional style tip number four, to be taken more seriously, make sure that your belt is straight. And by straight, I don't mean like centered. I'm talking about the holes. Make sure that it's not worn out. I was talking to my buddy the other day who's in the automotive industry and he's like, yo, one of the things that I notice right away when I'm looking to hire somebody is what their belt looks like. Does it match with their shoes? And are there a bunch of gaps and holes and oh, uh-uh. Gentlemen, if you want to check out my hands down favorite, what I'm talking, I met these guys at StyleCon and it has been a love affair ever since with Anson belts. These things don't have actually holes. They've got micro adjustments and the, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with them. <laughs> These are the best belts and you don't have to worry about holes or popping new holes. They come one size fits all. You cut them. I don't have a special code or a link. I just absolutely love this product. There is a link to the website down below and go and check them out. The three pack is the best deal where you can actually get three straps and two buckles and they are, like I said, in my opinion, the best bang for your belt buck. Young professional style tip number five and six is all about business business casual. Number five is invest in a nice, good fitting, good quality polo shirt. Guys, you know that I haven't always been super in love with polos. I gave them a bad rap before. That was until I actually tried the Ministry Supply polo that I'm wearing along with the other colors. They come in like four different colors. The fit is flawless. The fabric is nicer. It's like some space age technology, moisture wicking, I don't know, but as you can see, it fits amazing and it's just more professional and polished than some of the other polos that I see that are big and long and baggy, collars all nuts freaking out. Young professional style tip number six is upgrade your khakis. Gentlemen, there is a big difference between your dad's khaki pants and slimmer fit better fabric, nicer khakis. Gentlemen, figure out the difference and buy the better because here's the deal. Most dudes you're gonna see are going to be wearing khakis that are gonna have a real low rise, possibly peats, pleats, also a big cuff. You wanna make sure that when you walk by, Sheila in accounting, when she's like checking, she want, you wanna give her some of that. Gentlemen, if your pants are big and baggy, it's not gonna happen. Young professional style tip number seven is invest in a tailored white dress shirt. Investing in a few great fitting tailored white dress shirt is a critical component to you looking sharp all the time because you can wear it with pretty much anything. You can wear it with chinos, you can throw a tie on. 
And you can wear it with tip number eight, which is invest in a versatile navy suit. The classic navy suit, incredibly versatile. Not only can you wear it together for power lunches and business meetings, you can break up the suit. You can wear just the slacks or you can wear the jacket as a sport coat. Check it out. See? It works incredibly well as a sport coat. It transitions from suit to sport coat seamlessly. This suit jacket along with the chinos and polo shirts all came from the company Ministry of Supply. I keep talking about them and I encourage you to check them out. They're a great company and they have done an incredible job curating a collection that really resonates with young professionals because all their stuff is like non-wrinkle, it's super stretchy. To prove the point that their suits are incredibly like lightweight, comfortable and just action-packed their CEO actually ran a half marathon and set like a Guinness Book of World Record wearing one of their suits and if you're interested in checking out anything that Ministry of Supply sells there is a discount code down in the description I've done some other stuff with them featured them in other videos but their stuff is incredibly solid it's not the cheapest but it's incredibly versatile and functional tip number nine is not a style tip it's an image tip and that is clean your car even if you're not driving a bunch of clients around the fact that you are part Parking in a parking lot with your coworkers sends a message. It sends a message if they walk by and see McDonald's wrappers and trash piled up inside. And last but certainly not least, tip number 10, gentlemen, remember, it's better to be dressed up than down. Don't ever be in the situation where everybody else is dressed better than you. One of the issues that we face as young men is being taken seriously. In the workforce, it is even more important for you to set your best foot forward. I promise you this, if you implement these 10 tips, you are going to be viewed as more credible, more responsible. You will move faster and more swiftly up that corporate ladder, but you also need to abide by this rule. Do not gossip. Work hard. Do what you say you're going to do and kick ass. Gentlemen, I believe in you. Go get it. Good luck.